Bonjour et bienvenue à jour 2. Euh, il fait beau maintenant. Alors, euh, pour Robert, il fait beau. Euh, pas beaucoup de soleil. Et euh, il ne fait pas chaud. Yeah, we're working on the French. Anyway, that's where we stayed last night. A beautiful little two-star hotel. And uh, we don't have... Well, actually, we have farther to walk today. What do you think, Rob? We're walking about 26 kilometers today. We're going to start by going uphill. It's only about five, six hundred, but we got to get over it to get to the other side. We'll talk to you in a bit. So one thing walking up this hill has given us, other than you know, heart attack, is a, a wonderful view. I mean, we were down at sea level. I think actually we were minus one meter where we were. Anyway, check that out. Yeah, we actually got to go up by that fort over there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, we'll try to zoom in. Yep. So we still got to cross over that over there. But after that, it should be mostly downhill. Who knew we were going to get our stair stepping in today? So far, we're at 270. Yeah, 270. Run across the street, it looks like, after this car comes. And do some more. Oh, there's another car. Any more cars? Well, we're going. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yep, more steps. Guess it's time to keep counting. Whew. So even though we're not on the official Camino, yeah, I know, you can't see those, but whew, seems to be following the rules of Camino as Camino always goes uphill, or it takes you down to the lowest point, so we're gonna take you up higher. Let's see how much closer we are to that fort now. We are almost there, not too much farther to go. So after 358 stairs, a total of 620 some feet, we have finally come upon Nice. This is the other side of the hill. We didn't actually see the top of uh, the fort. And we could have given you a much better view than this, except there's this big fence running down this whole entire street. Right now, it's only about six feet high, but before, you know, it was like seven, eight feet. There's trees in the way. I mean, it's a beautiful view, but you can't really see it. Now, I don't know if that's to keep the looky-loos from stopping when they're driving down this hill, because man, the view is pretty incredible. It's just, I'm trying to, to see it myself, and I can't. In some of these places, this fence doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, I don't know why it's there. I mean, why is this fence right here? It's not like I'm gonna walk over this hill or something and die. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, yeah. I can't see that. Hopefully you got a view. Here we are in the center of Nice. We never got a, a really good view of the town from above, except through that fence. So we've been walking around the streets of Nice, coming up here on the cathedral. This is the Cathedral of Notre Dame here in, in Nice. Looks like the doors are open. How can we cross the street? Mm. Right here, maybe? I'm gonna turn this off a second. Looks like we can go inside, but we're gonna be quiet, as always. Well, we're back, back along the beach here on the Promenade d'Anglais, Promenade of the English, and uh, yeah, it's nice. A great view of the ocean. And we're going to be walking this for quite a while. We're looking to that point over there. And my camera works probably kind of shoddy right now because I'm not really looking at the screen. I'm just kind of talking, trying to see where I'm going. But let's take you over to the beach real quick just to show you. We talked about it yesterday how it's not like doing beaches more a bunch of rocks and yeah if you can just see it there's so many rocks down there but you know saw some people hanging out there and down there oh what a nice view taking a little break here on the promenade de anglais as you can see there's an airplane taking off over there we must be near the airport i know smart thinking huh rob walk by the airport i don't know why that's smart or not smart but beautiful view and the rocky beach. But yeah, we needed to give ourselves a break. Our pack, even though it's, you know, four liters smaller, which is, you know, a gallon of space smaller, 
feels heavier than ever. My feet, yeah, they're starting to feel it. Ah, oh, so I gotta give them a break. I know you really wanted to see my feet, but um, but yeah, it is the second day, so we're definitely starting to feel it. Sun, sun, sun. It's not so bad because it's still like 60 degrees. Past the airport now, walking along this nice little promenade by the marina here. Yeah, it's been uh, relatively quiet. It's been tough. I mean, it is the second day. Tough because, like I said, it's the second day. I mean, we walk in Southern California. It's flat. It's basically there to help us work up our feet and our shoes, get them worked in a little bit so we don't get blistered. Now, it's good that we have been wearing the same shoes for the past you know, three or four Caminos, so our feet are somewhat used to them since I generally wear them more than just walking in the Camino. But it's a little different when you get a pack and put 25 pounds on your back. Back to the beach, well, you know, the rocks that they call the beach. I don't really understand that. I mean, it's my first time in the south of France like this. So I guess it is what it is. You get what you get and you like it. It's like being in the Trojan Margin then. So we finally have our first plot of sand here on the beach. And clearly it's just for volleyball. I guess as they had to bring it in and dump it there. And it's only like within this fenced area. So there's not a lot. And probably got about, I don't know, 10 kilometers. You could probably see it over there somewhere is where we're going. We're going to Antibes. There's a big hotel type structure over there. Looks like a hotel type structure. I mean, we're not staying there. We're staying in a small hotel type structure. You know, two stars as opposed to, to five. Whatever we can get using you know, airline miles. Because on this route, we're a little less pilgrim-like. There's not a lot of pilgrim accommodations on the road that we've chosen because we've chosen to stay along the coast and not take the typical route that, yes, exists. And we just have decided to go our own way. I did just think of something. You know, I said earlier, well, I think in the last video, the last segment of this video, that there were not many pilgrim-friendly accommodations. That's not entirely true. Actually, tomorrow night, we are going to be staying at a very nice place where the rooms are normally like 130, 140 euro, and they have a pilgrim rate that's only 35 euros. That includes breakfast and dinner, or dinner and breakfast. And there are other places, like in Cannes as well. I mean, I have a guidebook that I got from a very nice French association in this area that does have accommodations for pilgrims. So I shouldn't say there aren't many. There are. They're just fewer and farther between. And so far it's been easier, aside from tomorrow night, to find places that uh, airline miles can get me relatively cheaply. So that's what I've been doing. We'll probably be doing that for, like I said, two weeks. Once we hit Arles, or actually, I believe Marseille. After Marseille, Marseille we're staying in a hostel that we did find. And after Marseille, then we'll be back to where the quote-unquote original Via Tolasana or Vaudar is. And from that point on, we'll mostly be staying in pilgrim accommodations. Because, well, that's what we'll do. And we'll be out of airline miles. We've made it to these crazy mountainous buildings that I'm guessing aren't hotels at this point. Probably more like residences or time sheds or something, but they got like gardens on each floor. And pretty cool looking, but yeah, definitely not somewhere we'd be staying if it was Airbnb. Probably like outside of our price range. We're only about 2.7 kilometers from our stop, but we had to stop this little place here because they have Pan Bagna, which is uh, something that Nicola said we needed to try. And that is it, it's a Pan Bagna. It's a sandwich that, uh, oh, eggs and tuna and onions, and it's something that's uh, local to the area of Nice. He gave me a list of like the five best places to go. <laughs> this here on the rocky beach is definitely not one of them, but it looks like it's gonna be good. Anyway, that's the view. Yes, we have decided to try out the rocky beach. 95% rocks. The rocky beach has suddenly got much rockier. They're big, huge rocks. Now, of course, if I was in Newport, drunk with my good friend John Northcott, I'd probably try walking on him because, well, that's what Rob does. And it looks like some kind of fort up there on the hill. 
and I believe this is Antib. This is going to be our stop for the day. Still got probably about a mile to go. Uh, but we're feeling better after that pan bag. Yeah, it was really good. And that Coke.